Hey, if you guys stick around to the end, it's when it starts to actually snow and sleet a bit more. But it's still a beautiful drive, you guys. I love you guys. Hello, everybody. It is Friday, January 21st, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California. And uh, I can't believe it. It's, we, we just got a couple sprinkles and it shows that it's snowing on the other side of town. So we're gonna drive over there and check it out. This wasn't really something that came up uh, too, uh, with too much warning at all. I know a couple days ago it said there would be a small chance for something, but then yesterday it didn't show anything on the radar um, for today. And then all of a sudden we've got these clouds coming in right now. So as I said, I've been watching since I saw that the possibility was there and there were a couple little raindrops that came down. And you know what that means. And according to my weather app, it says it's 37 degrees outside. Um, in my car, when I start my car, it always takes a while for the ambient temperature to, to get to the right, to what it actually is. Like when I started it three minutes ago, four minutes ago, it said 40, 46, but now it's, it's 41. Yeah, you can tell those clouds, they look kind of blurry and that's because there's definitely something coming down so that's really really cool I'm, I'm excited about that so we're gonna take a tour around the lake this isn't like a calm before the storm video but you know I wish we could be doing those calm before the storm videos guys it's quite unfortunate that we haven't been getting much warning when we get any precip and anyways this isn't a big enough type of event that would warrant a calm before the storm video. But uh, yeah, look at all this traffic. See, we're going this way so we don't have to be in this traffic coming back. We're gonna drive around the lake to the, uh, the other side. Break on through to the other side. Break on through, yeah. Oh yeah. This is, this is great guys. I love this type of weather. You guys know this. You guys know this by now. If you don't know me by now, you will never, ever, never know me. American Idol, baby. <laughs> Sorry. That was a joke. It was a joke. I'm trying to joke here, man. Please don't laugh at me. Yes, I know I have problems. I always have, always will. I am a weird dude. yeah a lot of you are going to be coming up i've been responding to a lot of the comments about you'll be up here in the next week or so what are the roads like well here's one of the sledding spots guys i want you guys to know that um regarding the roads up here you guys see this snow on the side of the roads and sidewalks and stuff like that well during the day that that melts okay and it oftentimes ends up in the street so even if we don't get much weather out of this which we're not going to we, we could get an inch maybe maybe and i'd be stoked but my whole point is this snow on the side of, of the roads once it melts during the day and, and leaks into the street just be aware that that's going to be icy at nighttime once we get to our freezing temperatures so just be very very vigilant you guys when you're up here just always assume the roads are icy It'll just keep you safer. I don't want anything to happen to you guys. I want you guys to have a splendid, wonderful time with with your family and, and create some beautiful memories. But a lot of people come up here, you know, a couple weeks or longer after we've had any type of, of, of storm up here and they don't even consider that the road could still, still be icy. So during the day, like right now, you guys, 41 degrees, you guys will be totally fine. But once it gets down near freezing, just please take extra precaution, you guys. I don't want anything to happen to you guys. I love you guys so much. It's crazy, man. I love you guys so much. You guys do so much for me. I'm so blessed to have you guys in my life. And I, it's, it's, just, it's just an unbelievable blessing. I am super, super stoked. I am looking forward to getting on the other side of the lake here. So we're not driving into the sun. I'm sure that's kind of annoying. Almost as annoying as myself. 
but there's not much I can do about it. This is one of my favorite views in the town here. It's so beautiful, you guys. I'm telling you, this is such a beautiful place. I really wish all of you would get a chance to come up here, especially all of my friends now from different parts of the world. Let me say hi to Shiloh Mifsud. What's up, Shiloh, my brother? Seriously, man, what a cool dude. He lives in, he refers to it as Straya instead of Australia, which is such a cool way to say it, Straya. So Shiloh, what's up, my brother? Shiloh is like a, like a, like a movie producer, director. Um, yeah, just super, super cool. Uh, another buddy of, of mine, we become super close, Omar. Man, seriously, Omar, you are so, such a cool dude. And how you make me feel is just amazing, bro. Couldn't be more blessed to have you in my life, Omar. Seriously, guys, if you ever get a chance to read the comments that he sends, I'm telling you, they are so unbelievably beautiful. But most of you send the most unreal, beautiful comments and make me feel so good about my life. And, and uh, you know, I've gone through some pretty weak times lately where I've been extremely weak and you guys have done so much to help me out. And I'm talking too much and we passed Boulder Bay. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. But yeah, I'm, I'm just super, super blessed and blown away to have you in my life. You guys know me by now. You guys know me by now. And if you don't, you will never, never, never know me. Yes, I know, I'm very annoying, I'm very strange. But for the people who really can't stand me, but you just like to watch the weather, you know what, there's, I've got, there's a beautiful thing that you can do. You can hit the mute button, <laughs> so you don't have to listen to my dumb ass. Excuse my language. Excuse my language, I didn't mean to say that. I try not to say even the A word, the three letter A word, because I know we have women and children watching this channel, which is so cool. You guys know I never thought anybody would actually watch this channel. I really didn't. That's why if you go back and watch the first few years, I didn't have any filter. It was just, just disgusting actually. I was very disgusting in the way I would speak. Every other word was the F word, the B word. I don't think I used the C word much because that's just, that's really crossing the line. But uh, look, like right here, this wetness in the road, that's from the snow melting during the day. And what is going to happen at nighttime is that little section could become icy. So always just assume you guys, when you're driving up here, that once you get up here in the freezing temperatures, Please, 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 just for your safety, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but just for your safety, drive as if it just snowed, please. I want you guys to have such a great time. Breaking down and crashing your cars is not, it's not a great time. If you crash your car when you're supposed to drive in the lane, you're, you're gonna have a bad time. When you're skiing, if you pizza instead of french fry, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> No, if you french fry when you're supposed to pizza, you're gonna have a bad time. I'm sorry guys, that's one of my South Park references. I love that show so much. But I love you guys so much. Look, see, this will be icy a little bit later. It's 38 degrees. Look at, look at how much it's dropped, you guys. Look at that. So as I said, since we got some, some dribbles from the Clizzles, that's why we're driving around because uh, we got some some precipitation that fell from the sky. And it makes me so happy. I'm a very happy, happy guy when we get precipitation from the sky. Oh my, my. Update also, you guys, on my anti antidepressants. I think they're starting to, to help a bit. Unfortunately, I got into it with my mom yesterday or two days ago. <sighs> so frustrating. Well, anyway, stay off the lake ice. It's up to a $500 fine. And, or your life, honestly. 
So this is where you guys would be coming into town. Most people don't go this direction, but we're going this direction to go around the lake through Fawnskin. So, I don't know. I like to talk to you guys about personal things that are going on because you guys are very helpful, you guys are very loving, and you guys care. So basically, for those of you who have, who have been around for a while, you guys know that I own a business up here and it's a lot of work, a lot of work. Not much physical labor, but it's a lot of work. And so for the past three and a half years, I've, I, I've been able, and I don't have much extra money after that, but I've been paying for my mom's car for three and a half years. She had a 2019 Subaru Forester, and then she traded it in in, in 2021 and got a 2021 Subaru uh, Forester fully loaded. And so I've been paying for that, 450 bucks each month, and I've been sending my my dad about the same amount because it covers his direct TV bill and um, his AT&T home phone, his AT&T wireless phone, and he rents or buys all the sports packages. <laughs> so it's, it's, but my parents have done so much for me as a youngster, you guys, and I used to take from my mom's purse a lot um, to buy green stuff, and it's, it's just, I felt so freaking horrible. So the fact that I'm in a, a position to be able to actually take care of them like that, when none of my other six older siblings do a damn thing for them, it makes me feel really, really good. But that's what we got in an argument about because it's been a little bit slow for me lately. And when I told my mom that for the first time in three and a half years, I might not be able to pay for her car next month. And then she responds with like, I wish I could be a priority once in a while. And my goodness, you guys, that, that made me flip out because I thought when I explained to her that it's just been really slow and I'm doing the best that I can and uh, I thought her response would be something like, oh honey, you know what, I hope you get back on your feet, I hope everything goes well, I hope your business picks up. But no, it was, it was something totally contrary to what I thought she would have said and I took it really, really bad. Um, and I responded with, first of all, I'm the only one of your seven kids, and I'm the baby of the family. I'm the only one of your seven kids that does anything for you. All the, all the rest of them take, 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 and you defend them taking, 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 but then you'll make a comment like that to me, that you, I, I wish I could be a priority once in a while. It's like, are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? So <laughs> that hurt my feelings a lot. And so that's where this, that's where I'm a little bit angry and upset at my mom. But a few of you, I've already talked to a few of you about it and you've, you've given me some great advice, you guys. You've given me some, some great advice to think about. Like maybe she's not in the best of moods at that time that she responded to my messages. Um, but I'm, I'm telling you guys, the reason I work so hard is so I can do this for my mom. That's, that's, that's why I work so hard. And if that, if, if that ability to help her ever got taken away from me, it, it would, it would be worse freaking depression than I've ever been through. And so I ended up sending her a couple days ago, um, right before she, she gave me that response. I said, look, I'm, I'm going to send you the money for my Harley Davidson and for your Subaru about two weeks in advance just so I can go a whole month and a half without having to you know worry about it because I was really worried because there was a, like a good week straight that I was having some really slow business and that's not not normal so it was freaking me out um, so I sent her for next month's car payment and my motorcycle payment and uh, yeah then she responds afterwards with she wishes she could be a you know, a priority once in a while. And that really hurt my feelings, but when my feelings get hurt, I take it out as anger. Um, and I feel bad about that. You know, I, I, I do the best that I can. And as I said, after I'm done helping my mom and dad every month, I don't really have much left over. So it's really, really, really tough for me. Um, but then again, I'm happy because I get all my bills paid. And that's, that's what counts the most. I get all my bills paid. So that, that makes me very, very happy. And I don't need anything extra. But I'm telling you, with with that extra money that I could be you know, spending on myself or getting a, a bigger place to live each month, like these are things that would make me really, really happy. 
But once again, I'm not selfish like that. So after running this business for almost five years now, it's, it's been about four to four and a half years. Um, for the past three and a half years of it, I've been in a position where any extra that I had, it would go right to them. Once I get all my bills paid, it would go right to them. And, and, and I haven't missed any payments for them in three and a half years. Now, about seven months ago, eight months ago, when I went out to Florida to go visit my dad, because he's turning 90 soon, um, I got in a fight with his wife because she she didn't, well, she, she was telling me how long I can come and stay for, how long I can come and visit, and this and that, and uh, just being as just, uh, she, she's, she's a power hungry lady. And it really, really upset me that she was trying to tell me how long I can come and stay and see my dad for. The fact is guys, I can't be gone more than four days at one time anyway, because I don't have any help with my business anymore. I used to have someone that, that worked for me so I could once in a while leave. But unfortunately, like I, I can't stay more than like four days, but just her trying to tell me how long I can, um, you know, stay or when I can come and visit when my dad is almost 90 years old and not doing that well physically, that really set me over the edge. Um, but yeah, I guess my whole point is, is that you guys are very, very good to me. You guys listen to me. You guys help me out a lot. And this is something that I've been struggling with this past couple days regarding my mom. Um, and the past couple days work's been great. It's been busy. Um, it was, it, it was like a flip, a flip of the switch, which was really, really nice. And so I'm not as stressed out about it. And now I've got a month and a half until she needs her next car payment and my Harley Davidson payment. So, um, because she was kind enough to finance that Harley for me because I have really awful credit. It, it's not as bad as it used to be because I'm, I'm a lot more responsible now and I'm doing the best I can, but you know, God bless her for that, for going way out of her way to do that for me. She actually offered it. And so I was just blown away and I promised her I would never let her down. And frankly, like she was saying, if I, if, if she, if she finances the Harley on her credit for me, um, if I pay for her car, then we, then we have a deal. And I was able to do that. But the obligation ended after she traded in that first car and got the 2021 Subaru Forester. But I told her I'll continue paying for it because I love you so much and everything you've done for me. You've put up with so much, mom. You've, she has put up with so much, you guys. I've been in nine rehabs, two sober living houses ever since 13 and a half years old. And she's been there with me side, side by side the whole time, supportive. And as I said, I would take from from that wonderful lady's purse as a youngster. And it's just, it's just, it just breaks my heart that I would even do anything like that. Um, so I feel obligated, but in a good way to take care of her and do what I can. And if I could do more, I would do more. I certainly would. So, but I'm, I'm very grateful that I've been able to take care of her, her car for three and a half straight years now. Um, I'm telling you guys, if something would have happened to my mom before I was able to actually help out that much. I don't know if I'd still be around if something actually did happen to her. I'd probably jump off a bridge or something. And so thankfully, I've been able to help for so long now and I'll continue to help. But I'm sorry for berating you guys with this, but I really appreciate you guys listening to me because you guys give me the best advice ever. You guys have helped me so much. I, I can't even begin to explain how much you guys helped me out. You guys are so impactful in everything when it comes to my emotional well-being. So thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm super thankful for you guys more than you'll ever know. More than you'll ever know. I love you guys a lot. I love you guys a lot. So that's what's going on in my mind. That's kind of stressing me out a little bit. Um, I haven't heard, heard from her since I kind of got mad at her response and I feel bad about that. Jeez, I feel bad about that. But uh, yeah, so we'll change the subject now. But thank you guys for listening. I'm Once again, I'm sorry to be so annoying about these things, but I love you guys so much and, and, and you guys give me so much hope and so much strength to be able to do what I do. See, so that guy was on my tail and I pulled over 
to let him buy it. That's, guys, I'm, I'm telling you, that's the safest thing to do up here. When that happens, I know you're all very considerate people, and so you'll probably end up speeding up. Don't do that, please, because that's when accidents happen, because most of you don't know these roads really well. So you'll speed up, trying to be nice to the guy behind us, and then you might end up crashing. So please just pull out wherever you can and let them pass. Do not take it personally like I do a lot when they pass. Like I, I just didn't at all. Like that felt really, really good to let him over without me having to be a jerk about it. I'm learning a lot from you guys. You guys are teaching me how to be a man and how to be respectful. As I said, go back to the first few years of this channel, you guys. You'll see it completely. I mean, it's the same good-hearted guy, but I didn't have a filter. <laughs> I mean, it was bad, you guys. It was bad. But anyway, there's Snow Summit right there. Snow Summit, my friends. It's the summit of snow. Oh, boy. It's Snow Summit. And we're getting into the clouds again. Hoping we get some more little raindrops or some some snowdrops. <laughs> but look at out there. I think we're gonna have to drive out to that side of town, guys. What a view, though. What a freaking view. To the left, that's Bear Mountain Ski Resort, you guys. And as I said, this this little bit of uh, of precipitation kind of came out of nowhere. We do have a wind advisory in effect right now, and they said that the tail end of this wind advisory um, is gonna be wrapping around some moisture. So that's really, really cool. And as I said, it had already started. That's why I started this darn video, but typical, it kind of stops right when I go out. But, oh, there was one right there. I just saw a drop. I just saw, oh, there's another one. I think that was a snowflake. Dude, you've gotta be kidding me. Yes, it was a snowflake. Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> I don't know why it excites me so much, but it does. I hope we see a snow bow, guys. That'll be awesome. It's 39 degrees and a couple snowflakes are, are coming down right now. This is great, man. We're gonna go to the other side of town and then come back down Big Bear Boulevard. Hang on, I gotta take this phone call. Hang on a minute. This is part of my job, so just bear with me. Hey, I will take it. Yeah. This headlight on this car cruising up to us right now, it's, it's, it's gonna give me a seizure. Jeez Louise. So once again, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. This is freaking awesome that we're getting these, kind of like when they predict all the storms for like a week or two out and then it just doesn't happen. I'm kind of enjoying the, the surprise little bit of stormage. And ever since I turned the camera off just now, there hasn't been any more snowflake, but the storms come up here so fast, you guys. I'm sure by the time we get to that side of town where I'm pointing right now, it'll be a little bit better opportunity. We're gonna drive through Moon Ridge going back so we'll be closer to the mountain. But yeah, this is freaking awesome, guys. So awesome. What a beautiful place. I can see to the left of Snow Summit over there, it's snowing on that mountain right there. I can tell. And the temperature has dropped again to 38 degrees. Booyah kasha! All right. That's enough booyah kashas. Even though that was only my first one. Man, I love doing these videos because I love getting the comments from you guys. But seriously, I feel so comfortable talking to you guys. You guys are always there for me. You guys always help me out. You guys show me so much respect and so much love. I am so thankful. You guys have allowed me to become a better man. Because when I get constructive criticism from you guys, it's constructive. It's not just pure, straight up criticizing me. You, 
guys care. And I freaking love that so much. I care about you guys a whole heap load, just so you understand. and a couple raindrops nothing too nothing too crazy but <laughs> unfortunately this is what I do though you know anytime we get any weather this is what I do and you guys are getting the full valley tour the whole valley bear valley we're doing the whole valley that's important is because once you pass paradise you cannot cut across to that side of the lake or that side of town until you get all the way into Baldwin and then you can drive back into that side of town but this is it this is the last turn and from this point on it's uh oops yep you can't turn at all so but look at that it's getting dark out here guys this is beautiful this is great
cop right there. I'm gonna turn it, turn it off for a second. Right, I sure hope he doesn't turn around because I was kind of going a, a little faster than the speed limit, but not much. I was just following the traffic, going the, the speed of these traffic, of this traffic. So anyway, now we're turning into Baldwin Lake area, you guys. Please don't be behind me. Please don't be behind me. I haven't had a ticket in so long. Like literally the only time that I was going like six miles per hour over the speed limit. Please don't be behind me. Anyway, I'm just keeping my eye out in the, in the rear view mirror here. Oh no. Is that? No, but it's somebody hauling some serious butt though. Irritates the hell out of me. If we weren't recording, I'd probably be uh, right on her butt just to show her how it feels. But guys, once again, I'm learning a lot from you guys. I'm not reacting the way that I used to react. So thank you guys for being so good to me, being honest with me, and really teaching me a lot. You really are. But yeah, these places are lakefront property right now. This is so cool. I didn't imagine there'd be this much water over here. or if if we would go down highway 38 and go to Irwin Lake it goes a little farther this direction but this is as far as it goes in the valley from here to the dam I think it's eight miles pretty much almost on the dot I'm pretty sure There's a nice neighborhood up here, you guys. Not a, not a lot of people know about it, but you go up Ponderosa Ranch Road right there, and there's a big, big neighborhood up on the top of the hill there. Huge, beautiful, a lot of equestrian properties. It's really nice up here. But you wouldn't know if you're just driving through here, you, you would have no idea. And then there are some some of these streets right here that go all that go way far back. snowing over there you can tell but we don't have access to over there I think it's like a 35 or 40 mile per hour speed limit through here. That's really, really terrible. Oh, I'm so sorry. That breaks my heart. Man, we 
got someone else coming up on my butt. What is going on today with these people? They're driving like me. They're driving like me. Got a windy to the world. As I said, we do have a, a, a wind advisory right now. It's not a high wind warning, but it's a wind advisory, which is the next step down from a high wind warning. And I think we're technically in the midst of it right now. Of the advisory for wind. Don't break wind, my friend. I'm telling you guys, this is a freaking beautiful, beautiful area, Baldwin. It's really quiet out here. But the only thing that's not cool about Baldwin is the snowfall is significantly less than the other side of town. I mean significantly. If we get a foot of snow at the Big Bear Dam, there might be an inch out here, maybe. When this area gets like six inches of snow, then you know we got hit with a few feet of snow in the main part of town, which is, which is always nice. Rare, but it's nice. I think since I've lived here, there have been maybe three storms where we've had two plus feet from the one storm, maybe four. So this road right here is called Shea Road, S-H-A-Y. And if you stay on Shea Road straight, it turns into Big Bear Boulevard. Oh, there's another drop. We just got another droplet right there. Oh yeah. So once we get to the stop sign, once we go through it, Shea Road turns into Big Bear Boulevard. And this is Highway 38 at, at the, well, this cross street right here. So if we'd make a left, we'd be going on Highway 38. But we're not making a left, we're staying straight. And this is Mexican food truck, which I've been dying to eat there. I just haven't had a chance. They're there sometimes, and I really wanna check it out because Mexican and Italian food are my favorite food. I like it a lot. Oh, I like it so much. It's so yummy. It's so good. And I'm so weird. Alright, hang tight you guys. I gotta switch my my nicotine thing out of my gums right now. I I use these things. They're awesome. I haven't smoked a cigarette in so long. Hang on guys. Yoki yard jokey. We got it switched out and I'm good to go. So as I said, we might drive through Moon Ridge to get home because we'll have a better chance to catch some more snow from this video. I know it's kind of pathetic, but if there's one drop, you guys, I go out. I go out. Always assuming there will be more. But we've been pretty unlucky. We did catch those two snowflakes. I literally saw two snowflakes when we were on North Shore. They were definitely snowflakes. It, it wasn't rain, it was definitely snowflakes. And it was 39 degrees too at that time. Hang on a second, I gotta take this. Okay. Off. Guys, Big Bear Smoke and Vape. I always tell you guys about his shop. That is the best place for fair prices up here 
and they have so much different stuff. It's not just smoke and vape stuff. They have a lot of different stuff there and they'll be carrying lottery tickets too soon. He gets snubbed once in a while for like some of these things and, and, and I don't understand why. He's such a good dude. But he was telling me that the, the lottery people will give the opportunity for some of these other shops and gas stations, but he has to fight with them to get any type of love. So anyway, you guys, his name is Sahil, S-A-H-I-L. He's just a wonderful dude. I really love the guy to death. And as I, I've, I've told you guys always, he doesn't like pay me to say anything. I do it because I think he's a wonderful guy and people who are good people, they deserve all the help they can get, always. He is genuine and uh, I love the guy to death. Big Bear Smoke and Vape, they have two shops, one in Big Bear City and one in Big Bear Lake. I know it's probably hard to believe that he doesn't pay me to say anything, but he really doesn't. I do it out of the kindness of my heart. He's one of the people that has made me feel welcome in this town. This is a tough town to crack like that, you guys. It really is. It's a really tough town to crack like that. You know what? We're going to turn down one of these streets to go through Moon Ridge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hate doing this because I'm going to be holding up traffic behind me while we're waiting for this long line of cars, but it is what it is. I'm sorry, man. I apologize. I am sorry, dude. Oh, I could have gone right there. Oh, another snowflake. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Oh, look at this guy. Thank you. Another snowflake. Yes, they're coming down, guys. They really are now. I mean, there's like there are like 10 at one time right there. I knew if I made this turn, it would be best. So is this sugar, no, this rain, bro. We're gonna go to Sugar Love Boulevard. Yes, it's snowing. Once again, it's not much, you guys, but it's definitely snowing. It's the most we've had on this drive so far. And it's 37 degrees. At ease. Please. My cheese. Wow, it's really snowing. That is so cool. Let's clean the windshield a little bit so we can have a, a better view. So now we are coming up to a street called Division Road. And we are going to make a left-hand turn on Division Road to head into Moon Ridge, be closer to the mountain because there will be more opportunity for snow. Wow, I can't believe I turned, I did the right thing, guys, finally. I mean, there's a few snowflakes coming down right now. I hope you guys can tell. Yes. Yes, sir. I like it a lot. Oh my gosh, we're getting some more snow. I know, guys, I am so strange why this makes me so happy. Who freaking knows? But I hope you guys can see it's snowing. Oh my God, it's snowing. Oh my God, it's snowing, oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh this, oh boy. Okay. Seriously, I get so irritated about stupid things like that, but it's just me. I just do. But I don't retaliate anymore like I used to. <laughs> Whatever that means, retaliate, but in terms of people not turning on their signals and driving like, driving like I usually drive. Even though I am respectful, I turn on my signals. I turn off my brights when someone is coming at me. Because it's the right thing to do, whoa. Well. Wow, 
look at the snowflakes, guys. This is freaking awesome. I wish it wouldn't have taken till the end of the video for us to get some snowflakes, but still, it's freaking awesome. I can't believe that we've had such a minuscule January, guys. It's been nothing. We've had nothing in January in terms of, uh, of snow. And since I've lived here, January is, is the snowiest month. But technically, just so you guys know, no, February and March are, as the data shows us, are the wettest months up here. So even though the seven and a half years I've lived here, the snowiest months or the wettest months have been January for the most part, but at least I have optimism knowing that February and March are our wettest months when you look at the US climate data. It's pretty cool. You can go back like 20 years, you guys, and see like exactly what happened on certain days. It's really cool. If you go to US climate data, it's amazing. Anyways, we're at Moonridge Road. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're getting some snowfall. It's snowing. Snowing chunk, and I love it. <laughs> All right, you guys, I love you guys a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as I said, if the snow picks up, I'll be going back out to make another video. I love you guys a lot. Peace out. Bye, you guys. So awesome. You guys, forgive me, but right when we pulled back into the house, look at it starts like really snowing a bit. And this is actually kind of like a sleet snow mix. It's really, really, really nice. I, I like it a lot. But yeah, I can't believe it. So I had to add this to the end of the video. And we just went right by a police officer. That's not good. It's not a good thing at all while holding the camera. At least it's not up at, at my ear like I'm talking on the phone or something like that, thank goodness. But anyway, that's it, you guys. Peace out. I wanted you guys to see that it was coming down a little bit. <laughs> Bye.